Hi, I'm Bill Church, Executive Editor of the Herald Tribune, and here with Pulitzer winner Michael Braga, head of our award-winning investigations team. Michael's got a uh, fascinating project this Sunday uh, on dark money. Michael, talk about the project and, and what readers can expect. Well, the, the, it's two stories, and um, they're about uh, Eric Robinson, who is known in this area as the Prince of Dark Money, and uh, a, 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 a moniker that he isn't especially keen of. Uh, but he's a really interesting guy, and uh, somebody I, uh, I ended up liking a lot. He's demonized in this region, and, uh, and with good reason. Uh, but what makes him so likable is that uh, it's, it's not that he's charming. Some people say that he's charming, but it isn't. He's, he's not. He's completely wide open. He'll tell you exactly what he thinks or believes or feels, you know, and uh, so you feel like you're really reaching the guy that he's, that he's talking with you, you know, he's not hiding anything. And for that reason, a lot of his critics don't think he's particularly smooth. But uh, I think there's two Eric Robinsons. There's sort of the prince of dark money, and then there's this guy that really wants to make positive change in the community. And so it's about both Eric Robinsons. Michael, talk a little bit about what dark money means and what you found in your investigation. Well, uh, dark money uh, sort of came about in 2010 after the uh, uh, Supreme Court uh, decision to allow unlimited funds to flow into political action committees or PACs. And um, these PACs... Uh, Basically, wealthy individuals, uh, corporations, labor unions can funnel money into these PACs, and then the PACs uh, use that money to pay for attack ads and mailers. Uh, and those can be extremely dirty, the attack ads and mailers, mm -hmm. uh, because the, the people who are giving money to the PACs don't always have to give their names. So they can basically say whatever they want. And, and the PACs that Eric Robinson runs have been involved in some of the dirtiest campaigns in this region. Um, now, you, know, you, you had, uh, what, a three-hour interview with Eric, and, you know, there's this fascinating side about the guy because he definitely is interested in social causes, and, you know, he's uh, running for the school board and, and, and going to be on the school board. You know, there's this, uh, this paradox in terms of sort of the public perception of Eric. Yeah, I mean... Um, when I started researching him, you know, I, I was calling around and uh, he called me in the middle of it and asked me what I was doing and, you know, because he was, you know, and we got into a conversation and he discussed every topic. So it wasn't just three hours that we spent. We spent hours and hours over, you know, uh, over several months talking. And, um, uh, but yes, he's, he believe he, uh, I guess since his 20s, uh, he's been, donating his time and money to foster shelters. He started in Miami and that's where he met his wife, Christine. And I think he really cares about children. And uh, so that's why he's a good fit for the um, uh, County Board of Education. Uh, I think he's gonna be a good fit there. He cares about children, so. Fascinating story as always, uh, when it's a Michael Braga byline, you can expect to uh, to learn a lot of revelations and an interesting character study on one of the leading political operatives in this region. Michael, thank you. Coming thank Sunday you, at the Herald Tribune.